Hello everybody, today we will be rebuilding the Charlotte Hornets and uh, this is Michael Jordan's team, yum. And, uh, oh, oops, I think it's supposed to be, hmm. okay, I'll let it do auto, but um, yeah, so this is uh, the super, they have a superstar in Kemba Walker and Nicholas Batum, but it's a little, I guess he's, 27 years old and he's only an 80 overall. I don't know how good he can get, but that bitch ass 92 million dollar contract is too much, way too much. And I mean, Kemba Walker, boy is slaying out there, and then his contract is really, really friendly. And uh, by the looks at it, by the looks of it, um, we have Frank the Tank here, Roy Hibbert. Is it? Uh, I don't know where he went. Oh, here it is, Roy Hibbert. And Ramon Sessions, R Ramon, yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna take a look at some trades and see what I can do out here. And uh, I'll come back to you once I'm done. Here I am, I'm gonna accept this trade with the Golden State Warriors to acquire Andre Iguodala and uh, Sean Levinston. I just mainly want to send uh, Nicholas Batum over there. Like, I mean, he's a 79 overall small forward and I mean, Andre Iguodala is already pretty much 81 overall, and this contract will destroy their the team's ecosystem. And uh, I mean, they're not going to be able to resign anybody, I don't think. So I don't know if they can resign anybody after this deal. So Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, Nicholas Batum. There's no way they're going to be able to resign anybody. I thought Anderson Virgil was like. That. Not new, but it does not matter. As uh, I'm gonna make one more trade and I will just go ahead and start this season. Uh, I'm not sure what got into 2K's head, but uh, they're gonna offer me 2018's Brooklyn's first round pick, eh? But it does seem like I would want this one, but I don't think they would give it to me. Yeah, I don't. Oh, second round. Oh, they want our first round pick, eh? Um, I would go ahead and give them a... Oh, what's, what's, why can't I... Hmm. I don't know if I should do this trade, actually, because... You know, I'm actually going to go ahead and... What the fuck? Oh, they want Roy Hibbert for Kelly Olenek. I'm actually getting so many... Uh, no, I'm actually down for it. I don't really care. But I just mainly I just wanted to get rid of that big big contract as uh, I was actually going to trade away Marvin Williams, but um, his, he has a pretty good three point shot, so I'm actually going to just keep him, even though his contract's on the larger side. And you know he's 30 years old, but after the season I might I might trade him in free agency. But right now our team consists of uh, Kemba Walker, Sean Livingston, Ramon Session. And Jeremy Lamb, Marco Bellinelli, Aaron Harrison, and uh, Andre Iguodala at the oh, lone shooting guard, and the three power forwards here. Actually, I'm gonna see if I can convert one of them to a uh, a small forward. Hmm, nothing really happens. Okay, well, okay, so um, Marvin Williams is now a small forward, and uh, I will actually. Switch one of these guys to power forward. Two points, one point, two points, nothing. Um. Okay, I'm gonna put Kelly Olenek at power forward here. That's still a lot of people. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna roll with it this season, and uh, I'll I'll mostly move all these people, and I'll see you guys at All Star Weekend. Right here, I'm actually going to accept this trade for uh, Sean Levinson, Marco Bellinelli for DeAndre Jordan, and Luke Mabamut. Luke Mabamut? I'm not really sure how to pronounce this, but I only know that I got DeAndre Jordan here on this team <laughs> for flipping Sean Levinson. And, uh, well, Sean Levinson and, and Andre Iguodala here will make a pretty good combo as, I mean, they're pretty good, they're pretty big. And uh, here we Kelly Olenek. I think I won't be able to keep this here because I really don't. I, I just don't want him at all. 
But we have Frank Comesti here, Frank the Tank as the future. Kim Walker is injured, and uh, David West is also injured here. But we have too many damn centers, so I will go ahead and trade one and see what's on the market. I'm gonna go here, here, and uh, with this pick, I mean, with this trade here, I'm gonna go trade Marvin Williams, Luke Bamut, and uh, the first round pick uh, for Joe Johnson and Rudy Gobert. Uh, I'm actually taking this pick because it's actually just pretty good value. I mean, Rudy Gobert expiring contract. Nope, never mind. That's a that's an extended contract. But while well, Joe Johnson here has a I think a two year for a 23, well, basically 24 million dollar contract. That's pretty all right. And uh, talk about value here. We uh, switch. Now we just figure out who's the better power forward. Hmm, I see none in the market. All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna put DeAndre Jordan as a power forward then, and. I guess a, a power forward to a small forward. Somebody. Looks like David West. Oh, fucking me. David West will now be a small forward. Alright, so it's a little bit more balanced, but we still have a log, big, big, big log jam here at the center position. So I'll trade for, I'll see, a point guard or shooting guard. Well, I accidentally skipped over everything and did not record it, but uh, here we are at the finals. We did not even make playoffs. We, uh, yeah, we're pretty much fucked. And uh, Kevin Durant was the MVP. Yeah, that, that was, there was that. LeBron James, Richard Jefferson, damn, still got some run on his body, bro. Kyrie Irving, J.R. Smith, Kevin Love, was he, is he even here? I don't know. Well, Kevin Durant, 48 points, Steph Curry, 20 points, Klay Thompson, 18, Nicholas Batum, 12, Draymond Green with 8, but 14 rebounds, 2 blocks. Who is this? Ryan Roberts, I do not know, James McAdoo did not play. But, Golden State Warriors did win the championship, and I'm just going to go to the rookie signing, because uh, I'll just let the bot do it for me. And uh, this man, what the fuck, first round 6th? Sure, I don't really care. Ramon Sessions, I'm gonna take Frank and I'm gonna take Dougie McBuckets. And uh, Ramon Sessions, I guess he can rock. But here we are, qualifying offers, and I will. Cody Zeller, Kelly Olenek. I'm gonna. Yeah, no. Oh, the 78 overalls are pretty good. I might use them as trading piece, so I will offer them their contracts. Andre Iguodala, 82 overall. But Golden State Warriors will have a hard time. So I will I'm just gonna take a look at this for agency Payton and I'll come back to you. I'm gonna send uh, Joe Johnson here to the Toronto Raptors for uh, Norman Powell and DeLon Wright. And it's just value. And we will be going into free agency and I'll see you when I sign players. I'm actually going to be here to offload Jeremy Lamb because, I mean, I just want some more cap space. But I'm just actually going to go take, uh, I think, just one player pretty much. I do have, okay, not Kevin Durant, not Chris Paul. But, uh, yeah, I was thinking about Blake Griffin here. I'm just going to give him the maximum I have, give him a player option and no trade clause. We'll have enough room to sign later, you may only sign later. Oh, okay. There. Okay, he wants money from the Nets. Well, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go at Hayward then. It should be all fine. Give him the player option, no trade cost. Giannis. CJ McCollum. It's actually pretty good. Um, I think it's an upgrade from Dreamland just because, he, yeah, he's rated higher and he's much, and he's actually, I don't think he's cheaper, but yeah, he's just rated higher. Yeah, let's see who accepts. Giannis went to the Bulls, not the Bulls, the Bucks. Blake Griffin went to the Nets. 
Just give me oh my lord. Oh, okay. This I'm going to uh there is literally nobody else I can have. So I after have I after I either have to make space for Paul Millsap or uh, yeah, pretty much I already have a star in Kemba Walker, so I won't be needing Chris Paul, Kyle Lowry either. I guess I'll bring back Andre Iguodala, not for four years. One year, I'll give you what, ten million dollars, bro. I don't want to type that, but. Zach Randolph, you're welcome to come to my team if you want. Rudy Gay, you can come. Sergi Baca, you can come. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take Sergi Baca. Cody Zeller, I will match that. Andre Godala, I will take that. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, 44 million in debt. So, you know, there you go. So I will see you guys at the next when the next season comes. So here I did, um, traded away, uh, I traded Cody Zeller and two first round picks, I, uh, three? I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not really sure, but I did get Chris Middleton, so to fill our, uh, shooting guard void here, and, uh, I'm actually just gonna simulate to the end of the season, I will see you there. Here we are at the end of the season, LeBron James is your MVP, and this guy is your Rookie of the Year. Emmanuel Moody is a sixth man, and Anthony Davis is, is the Defensive Player of the Year, and Shelvin Mack is your most improved. And Steve Clifford, our coach, is the Coach of the Year. Kemba Walker is on your All-NBA first team. Nope, no one else on the second team, not even the third. All-Defensive first team, nope. Oh, we have this man on the rookie first team. That's pretty much it. Yeah, nothing special. All right, but we are the first seed though in the uh, in the East. And Oklahoma City is it? I'm just gonna simulate current round first. So they have D'Angelo Russell. Oh, that's the Lakers. But oh, Kevin Durant went back to the Thunder's. Um, Warriors, Nick Batum. Draymond Green, Clay Thompson, and Steph Curry. Uh, it was a good choice. I knew that Nick Batum is our inside agent would take this, take the Golden State team and disassemble it. Well, he they enjoyed that championship while it lasted. And San Antonio is a six seed. How? I'm not sure how that would work, but what what happened happened. So I'm assuming they're coming around again. We sweep the Knicks. But we also swept the Pacers. We didn't sweep them, but yeah, four to one. Okay. Um, yeah, Paul George is gonna walk next year. <laughs> and here we are with. The, oh no, stop. Seven, eight, one. Okay, we we win one. They win one. We win another one. Ooh, they take game four. We take game five. Oh, this is game seven here. Oh my god! Alright, we got us eliminated by LeBron James and his Cavaliers. <sighs> Jeremy Lamb, why? <laughs> god damn. Alright, so, okay, the Oklahoma City won, and then Kevin Durant is two time MVP, I guess. Finals MVPs, anyways. So, uh, I'm just gonna simulate to the start of, at the end of the season next year because I don't think I'm gonna make much changes. So, I'll see you then. Here we are at the end of the season. I mean, at the beginning of the season. We actually have Kemba Walker and we signed Carmelo Anthony for a big ass contract, but because of that, we could not get Andre Iguodala back, even though we have bird rights on it. But we did decide to, to um, extend DeAndre Jordan uh, his contract based on the bird rights, and we did get him back. Rudy Gobert is still here, but we are in deep, shitty tax. So, um. Looks like Michael Jordan would be paying them taxes, eh? And, uh, well, pretty much, I'm pretty sure this roster will win a championship. So, I will see you at the end of the season. At the end of the season, Steph Curry is your MVP with 30-ish points per game. This guy is your, uh, what, rookie of the year. Kent Bazemore, sixth man of the year. And Carl is now defensive player of the year. Alex Len, most improved. And Ron Adams is your coach of the year again. What the fuck? Damn it. How did Golden State get? Whatever. Portland is your second seed, which is pretty interesting. We have the eighth seeded uh, Boston Celtics here. 
Oh lord, that got to seven games. Oh man, Brooklyn? Uh, Brooklyn has, oh, Blake Griffin. Oh my lord. Toronto Raptors did not make playoffs. LeBron is still here to wreck havoc. And all right, here we go again with the Cavaliers. Okay, we win one, they take one, we win one, we win another one. Oh, what the heck? Okay, we destroyed the Cleveland Cavaliers. Oh man, Kemba, I mean, Kemba Walker, he did drop 35 points. Carmelo Anthony, 25, 24 points. Serge Ibaka, 19 points. Rudy Gobert, 12. Norm Powell with eight points. And DeAndre Jordan with weird stats. All right, Frank Tank. Okay, yeah, well, De DeLon Wright absolutely made no sense. But he did have five assists, so that's good, that's good. Right, but here we are playing against the Golden State Warriors. Simulate one. Simulate. Simulate. Sim oh, man. We are at the crossroads. It's the 3-1 lead once again. Oh, man. Dang it. I accidentally unplugged my controller here. Well, there it is. It's plugged back. And... Man. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let me do it with Simcast here. Alright, so um, simulate game. How do I speed it up? Okay. So, well, okay. It, yeah, it looks like we got blown out. And, alright. Looks like this rebuild is a fucking failure. And let's see how the guys did. So Carmelo Anthony, 15 points. DeAndre Jordan, 13 points. Rudy Gobert, 12 points. Chris Milton with 11. Um, okay, Steph Curry, absolutely going off. Nicholas Batum, revenge of the Batum. Clay Thompson, 16. Well, it. Look, let me let me show you this roster, man. Okay, 90 overall. Campbell Walker, Carmelo Anthony, 89. DeAndre Jordan, 89. -er. God damn. Rudy Gobert, 87. Sergi Baca, 86. Chris Middleton, Norm Powell, DeLon Wright. Man, okay, I'm actually gonna simulate for one more season just to see if we can um, win, win it. So I'm just gonna like, just do it really quickly, but I'll see you at the end of the season then. So, your MVP is actually Kemba Walker. I've actually never, ever seen this happen before. But he averaged 27 points basically, and yeah, pretty much it. And Kawhi Leonard is a defensive player of the year. Most improved is Chris Dunn, and Steve Clifford, once again, is coach of the year. And Brom Brom, so, yeah, pretty much everybody here is what you expect it to be. Oh, I'll be NBA second team. Chris Dunn's on it. That's pretty weird. Never seen that happen. And Paul George. Ooh, Brandon Ingram is a 90 overall in his fourth. What on earth? That's crazy. All right, whatever. But Golden State is also the first seed, and we actually did win 67 to 15 games, making us the first first seed. Um, Philadelphia is the third seed. All right, whatever. Anything can happen. See me current round. Oh my lord. I don't know why that went to seven games. They don't even have anyone good. What is this? Game's actually awful. <laughs> hmm. 87 overall. A little crazy here. Alright. They have D Wade. Oh, Dick Wade. <laughs> what on earth? Alright, I'm gonna simulate current round again. Oh my god. How clutch does this have to be? Um. <laughs> this is actually horrifying. What on earth is this, man? This is crazy. Uh, <laughs> Steph Curry, Clay Thompson. Is this Jordan Hill? All right, whatever. They lost a Buddy Heald and Anthony Davis. Buddy Heald's still an 80 overall. Anthony Davis, though, is crazy good. Kyrie Irving? What? Man.
man, 2K don't make no sense. All right, Pelicans take game one, I take game two, I take game three, take game four, and the Charlotte Hornets is your NBA champions. I know I spent an extra season here, but in the end, we did it, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.